Go ahead. Okay, so let's start from scratch. <clears throat> These four pots here are to do with the um, with the with the digital squelch. The very bottom part it really is the thing that does stuff. It sets the level at which the squelch operates. In its uh, position, which is roughly uh, pointing at one o'clock in this orientation, um, is about where you want it. However, the tighter you have it, going round to uh, six o'clock, uh, will require a larger and larger, larger signal, just like a squelch will do. These three light up these three lights uh, and they don't do anything other than that so um, again the tighter you have them the, t the quicker or not they will light these lights these two pots here do the transmit and receive in there which one's transmit which uh, this one is transmit this one is receive the receive on the left transmit on the right and um, yeah in the in the center of their swing at roughly 12 o'clock uh, which is about a halfway around there this swing at roughly 12 o'clock is a good one-size-fits-all starting position. Uh, and quite frankly, if it works for you, it ain't broke, so don't fix it. Now, I notice these are turned around. Yeah, one's it's one way, one's yeah, the other way. It's it, it's just like that because of uh, the way the tracks have to go on the board. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm mean, just just leave them where they are. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Now, also while you're here. Um, bring your camera in here. Um, when we're looking for it's blurred, isn't it? Yeah. When we're looking for uh, places to attach the scope to get a, uh, a a signal out of it, um, okay. The receive signal, according to the instructions, we're supposed to test our receive signal for 0 0.8 volts peak to peak, and we test it right there. That is one, two, three up from the bottom on the left-hand side. And if we had an incoming signal, then we'd be able to see on our scope window uh, the signal coming in. Obviously, the white noise is going to be louder in amplitude than the uh, modulated D-star signal, which will be a nice dull eye pattern. <clears throat> okay, in the transmit world, same thing again. Um, fourth one from the bottom on the right hand side. One, two, three, fourth one from the bottom. That is the digital signal out. Scope probe where mine is, you'll get a square wave. And then as you chase it further around the circuit, for example, this resistor here, which is R, um, R6, you'll find that you'll get a slightly rounder signal. And as you chase it further through the circuits, to here and to here and then of course ultimately uh, to here and if you could get to the bottom of this socket the bottom of the radio socket it will get rounder and rounder and rounder um, and again you're going to um, you're going to adjust that for whatever the deviation is required by your radio to make it um, one and a quarter kilohertz deviation 1.25 K deviation but as I say the way this pot is situated right now at roughly um, 12 and 6, roughly in the middle of its swing, is a good one-size-fits-all solution.